Michelle, so glad you're able to join us today. How are you? I'm well, thank you, Sharon. Good to see you. All right, let's dive right in. As we just mentioned on Saturday, just two days after the arrest of Ghislaine Maxwell, a British socialite and alleged accomplice of convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein, the Daily Telegraph published a photo of Maxwell and Oscar-winning actor Kevin Spacey sitting on the thrones at Buckingham Palace. And by the way, I think I should point out to our viewers, the Daily Telegraph is not a tabloid. It's very much a legitimate newspaper in London. Uh, so first off, Michelle, I want to know what went through your mind when you first saw this photograph. I know I was floored. I mean, Kevin Spacey, of all people. It was jaw-dropping to see those two people. Um, first of all, those two people together. Then you have those two people together sitting in the throne room in Buckingham Palace, in the thrones. <laughs> so that was kind of a triple whammy of really horrible and frankly shocking optics. Now, I've heard a lot of people say that this isn't, it's a throne, these are thrones, but they're not the real throne. What exactly do people mean by this? Because these are the thrones at Buckingham Palace, correct? That's right, and I think we can safely consider any thrones in Buckingham Palace to be real thrones. <laughs> these aren't just thrones at you know the, the home goods store on your on the corner. So um, these are these are real thrones. However, I think what um, people are sort of um, referring to is the fact that there is indeed more than one set of thrones exist within the vast collection um, held, held by the monarchy. And there is a throne that many people are familiar with from the Queen's coronation, and that actually lives at uh, Westminster Abbey. So, you know, there's not necessarily one throne, but certainly these thrones are the thrones in Buckingham Palace. They're legit thrones, let's say that. So can you tell us how a photo like this would even happen? Is it common for VIPs to get this kind of a photo op or, or would this be considered a major breach of protocol, perhaps even be seen as disrespectful? Well, it's not common at all. And there's a reason why everyone was gasping when they saw this photo. There, there's several reasons. Um, but among them is the fact that you don't see this hardly ever, if ever, um, do we see people posing. You know, it's sort of like, you know, they were taking this like ultimate royal selfie. Um, and these are uh, chairs, thrones that would be roped off with the proverbial like, you know, red velvet rope that you're picturing in your mind. Um, they are not something that um, anyone would be expected to sit in. Um, and they are considered, you know, historic artifacts. So it's not something that would, would be in any way uh, an appropriate use of the thrones, who, regardless of who you are, unless you happen to be Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip. Wow, so I'm very curious. What have you heard from your sources as far as any reaction from the palace? Officially, the palace has not had any reaction. They have not publicly commented. Behind the scenes, we expect that no one was happy at the palace, including Her Majesty. Um, obviously, as we, as we said, this is a really bad look um, for, for everyone involved, frankly. Um, and, you know, as the Telegraph reported, our understanding is that um, the visit was arranged by Prince Andrew, of course, the queen's second son. Um, so he, he's the one with the access, right? So he arranged it for um, former president Bill Clinton, who at that time in 2002 was just a year out of office, was visiting on some, some business. And Bill Clinton is a friend of Kevin Spacey's. Of course, this was all before the controversy surrounding Kevin Spacey's own sex scandal. Um, and then Ghislaine Maxwell was a friend of Prince Andrew. So it was this sort of very strange convergence of people um, that Prince Andrew was kind of the common thread um, bringing together for this very, um, very, un, you know, unfortunate, frankly, photo opportunity, which um, the paper also reported that it's not known whether Andrew was in the room when they took the photos, when they were sitting in these thrones. Um, that part hasn't been commented on at all. I was wondering if he might have been the one taking the photo. Right, I mean, I kind of had that thought too. Who, who took the picture, right? Um, exactly. But it's, yeah, it's, it's not known. 
Okay, this next question is pure speculation, but how do you think this photograph could have wound up at the offices of the Daily Telegraph? It sure seems like someone leaked it, presumably for a hefty profit, right? Yeah, we don't know. As you say, it's speculation to, to imagine how it happened. But yes, the, the thinking is the photo was leaked and presumably by someone who is looking to embarrass um, Prince Andrew, to further embroil him in this scandal, um, to embarrass the monarchy and, and any connection that they would have had with Jeffrey Epstein, um, obviously through Prince Andrew, who, who was a friend of his. Um, so it looks to have been a leak meant to cast Prince Andrew in a very bad light. Now, since last year, the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York has been asking to speak with Prince Andrew about his relationship with uh, Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. What are you hearing about this? Do you think this is ever going to happen? Well, you know, on the Prince Andrew side of things, his legal team says he has made himself available and he is very willing to cooperate with authorities. And we're sort of hearing the exact opposite from um, the US um, district attorney who is saying, you know, oh, it's interesting to be, you know, communicated with via these public channels when privately we have not been able to set up any kind of, you know, arrange any kind of meetings um, with, with the Duke of York. So I think that it's sort of a, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a he said, he said in terms of who's willing to cooperate. And um, right now it looks like things are at a bit of a standstill, but with the arrest of Ghislaine Maxwell, you know, obviously things can change on a dime. All right, thank you so much, Michelle, for helping us break down this truly shocking story.